What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the Big Baller from Spincraft. Uh, now this is a fidget spinner, okay, now this is not made, I, made by Spincraft or whatever the case is. It's a $10 cheap spinner that I got off of uh, Spincraft.com. I'll put the um, link in the description. Now, like I said, this is uh, called the Big Baller. If, if you can't guess, it's because there's big balls on it, okay? Definitely, big balls. Now, um, the Big Baller here is a two, uh, just about 2 inches, and it's 1.2 ounces, all right? Uh, I'll give you a size comparison to a standard tri-fidget spinner, all right? There's like a standard cheap spinner. Kind of get the idea. So this spinner has a R188 bearing in it, okay? So it's a little tinier, uh, you know, smaller bearing. There's that. There's a 608, okay? So much smaller. The cap or the buttons are plastic, all right? They just push in. They just snap right in. To get the bearing out, there's two little screws. There's one on this side, Phillips screws. There's another one on this side. All right, so you just take those screws out and the whole thing comes apart. These balls, they do move. They're kind of loose. They're just kind of sitting in between the two pieces. You can see the two pieces right there. And they move around. All right, so we'll put the caps on. We'll give it a spin. now. It spins pretty easy, all right, and it's got pretty good spin times. I, uh, I've clocked this guy out at uh, over four minutes, which I thought was pretty incredible because it's a $10 spinner. Now, if this was anything more than $10, I mean, if it was $11, I would be disappointed. Biggest thing for me is I like something that's nice and tight. You see the play here? See the... It drives me absolutely nuts. So when you move your hand, I mean, it just kind of wobbles around. Now, if you keep your hand still, it does spin pretty well. I mean, it, it spins, it spins fast, it spins for a pretty good long time. It's just when you start moving it around, it's kind of loose. So that kind of drives me a little nuts. The other thing is, too, these little ridges right here, a little bit of a hot spot. Um, after pro prolonged flicking, uh, your finger will start to wear. I know mine, I mean, even right now, I could already feel it. So these two little uh, little grooves here, a little bit of a hot spot. Okay, not the biggest deal. Again, $10 spinner. Is it worth $10 in my opinion? Yes. Decent spin, uh, nice lightweight, compact size, uh, you know, cheap to get you started. Or something to kind of bring around with you. I kind of bring this one to work, so I'm not worried about breaking it because it's not very expensive. Uh, but ultimately, you know, I like something that's a little tighter. Like this was a $10 spinner, and I mean, it just doesn't have nowhere near the play. But any which way. So pros, it's 10 bucks. It's got a removable R188 bearing. Uh, it's got these three, uh, six ball bearings on the end here, which are they move around, which I really like to kind of spin them on my finger and all uh, for fidgetability it's a it's a very good one if, if you're just looking for something for fidgetability because we're making up words now for these uh, definitely check it out all right con like I said it's very very wobbly you know it's, it's very very wobbly uh, if you push too hard the caps will bend you know they'll kind of move around so you, you know you need to have them pushed in straight and then these ridges here on the end are kind of a hot spot. Uh, pros for this guy, it's 10 bucks. It has a pretty good long spin time uh, and, you know, pretty good overall fidgetability. Uh, check it out, spermcraft.com, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.